Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the Neolithic period, a really important time in human history. The Neolithic period was the last part of the Stone Age. Back in the late 1800s, scholars divided the Stone Age into three stages, the Paleolithic, the Mesolithic, and the Neolithic. What makes the Neolithic period stand out is its connection to large stone structures, farming, and polished stone tools. The Neolithic period is often linked to the beginning of farming, but this didn't happen everywhere at the same time. Different regions started farming at different points. For example, people in the Near East started farming around 9000 BCE. In Southeast Europe, it started closer to 7000 BCE while Central Europe picked it up around 5,500 BCE. Northern Europe started even later, around 4,000 BCE. In East Asia, the Neolithic period lasted from about 6,000 to 2,000 BCE. One thing that makes the Neolithic period tricky to define is pottery. In some places, pottery is considered a key sign of the Neolithic period, but that doesn't always line up with farming. For example, in Japan, pottery was made before farming started. Meanwhile, in the Near East, farming came first, and pottery came later. Because of these differences, it's hard to pin down an exact starting point for the Neolithic period. The term Neolithic was created a long time ago, and while useful, it doesn't always match what we now know about history. You might have heard of the term Neolithic Revolution which became popular thanks to an Australian archaeologist named Gordon Child in the 1940s. He believed that farming caused a big, fast change in human life. However, experts today believe that this change happened more slowly. Before fully switching to farming, many groups moved from place to place looking for food. Some groups began to spend more time in one spot, gathering wild plants and experimenting with small-scale farming. Over time, this mix of gathering and farming grew into full-time agriculture. So rather than a sudden revolution, farming developed step by step. Farming didn't just appear in one place and spread everywhere. Different groups in different parts of the world developed farming on their own. Once farming became common, it started to replace hunting and gathering as the main way people got food. However, in some tough environments like the Arctic, dense forests or deserts, people stuck to hunting and gathering because farming wasn't practical. Farming brought big changes to how people lived. Forests were cleared to make space for crops like grains and root vegetables, and new tools like plows and irrigation systems were created. With more food available, populations grew, villages expanded, and eventually those villages became towns and cities. Farming didn't just improve food supplies, it completely changed how people organized their lives and built their communities. As people in the Neolithic period began settling down in one place, they started paying more attention to land and territory. Between 9600 and 6900 BCE in the Near East, people improved their arrowheads, even though the types of animals they hunted didn't change much. Archaeologists have found skeletons from this time with arrowheads still stuck in them showing that fights between groups were becoming more common. Some villages like Jericho even built large walls and ditches for protection, suggesting that organized conflicts may have started during this period. During this time, people also improved their stone tools. These improved tools spread to other regions, showing that different groups were interacting and trading with one another. As farming improved and food supplies grew, villages became larger. With bigger communities, social structures started changing too. Certain people, especially those who managed food storage, became more important in society and took on leadership roles. In some early Neolithic villages, families didn't store food in their homes. Instead, the entire village used shared storage spaces. At a site called Jarf el Amar in northern Syria, Archaeologists found a large underground structure used to store food for the whole community. This building was placed in the center of the village, and evidence suggests that it may have been used for rituals as well. At first, the sheep were wild, but eventually they became domesticated and provided the community with most of their meat. Later, when pottery became common, toothwear decreased, but people started having more dental problems. 
This suggests that softer foods like porridge and gruel, cooked in pots, replace the tougher bread made from stone ground flour. Toward the end of the Neolithic period, people began working with copper. This shift marked the beginning of a transition to the Bronze Age, also known as the Chalcolithic or Enneolithic era. Bronze, which is a mix of copper and tin, was stronger than copper and easier to shape into better tools and weapons. Over time, bronze replaced stone tools, marking the end of the Neolithic period and the Stone Age. 